so we have seen a flat day yesterday and uh, if you are looking at the overall indices i mean uh, anything you are looking at it's going nowhere dow jones down by 58 points nasdaq up by 45 points s&p 500 you know up by 5 points so there is nothing that we can actually talk about but what does it indicate is a big question because i have been saying this for the last two days that now the range is getting narrower and whenever it happens it is an indication so it would be better if you just keep yourself aside and observe the market because whenever a range gets narrower it's an indication that something is about to change now this is the price chart of uh, dow jones and you can clearly see the range is completely narrow and i i have talked about this range yesterday as well so on the upside we have 32979 which is your uh, resistance and on the downside we have 32587 and 32500 which is your support and stop loss so this is the narrow range in between which dow jones is trading and uh, uh, it's a wait and watch mode don't try to take any trade or let's just wait for this range to break either on the upside or on the downside and then take your trade accordingly right now just uh, just observe now talking about nasdaq talking about nasdaq so one thing that we need to look at is whether it is sustaining above 11490 and 11550 and right now it does so we may move higher or we may move towards 11800 11830 going forward and uh, this is somewhat positive compared to uh, dow jones and the reason is very simple because it is sustaining above the resistance zone so this is the current range but because it is sustaining above the resistance zone after the breakout so now your resistance turns into your support so in that sense it is positive and with a stop loss of 11,550 and 11,500 one can go for 11,800 as far as Nasdaq is concerned. Talking about S&P 500 although it complies more with Nasdaq but uh, uh, it would be better if we just follow the range and uh, see what is happening. Okay, because uh, there is a down move there is a big down move and uh, we cannot call it as a you know big move or a positive trend until and unless uh, the S&P 500 started trading above 4100 although because of this down move a big gap has been created and we can see some sort of bounce back that has happened uh, in the last hour of yesterday's trading session but uh, it is still within a range so if you want what we can do over here is uh, with a stop loss of uh, 3976 you can go for 4080 on the upside which is your target as well as the resistance and if it falls below 3976 then let us just wait for 3929 and let us see whether s p 500 will hold its support or not but right now because uh, s p 500 is sustaining above 3976 so the indication is it will go higher rather than lower so overall if you are looking at the dow jones then leave it if you are looking at nasdaq and s p 500 both are giving positive indications for today's trading session but maintain a strict stop loss so this is the end of the video thanks for watching